first theorized the existence of gravitational waves in 1916, upending the world's understanding of physics. And now, after two massive black holes collided nearly two billion light years from Earth, astronomers at the LIGO Observatory in Washington State have detected a fourth set of these ripples in the fabric of space-time. Here to talk about this discovery is CBS News science and futurist contributor and theoretical physicist Dr. Michio Kaku. Professor Kaku, thanks so much for joining us. Glad to be on the show. So let's start with a basic definition here first. Can you explain what gravitational waves are? Think of throwing a rock in a pond. The impact creates waves, ripples, which then begin to spread rapidly. Mm -hmm. Now the pond is empty space, space-time. But it's like a fabric, says Einstein. So when you drop a rock on the fabric of space-time, it causes ripples that travel at the speed of light. So Einstein predicted it in 1916, but it took a hundred years to finally prove that, bingo, <laughs> Einstein was right after all. Wow, um, and so there's our uh our example there as we're seeing it kind of for those of us who might have a hard time imagining it. But these kinds of waves have been detected in the past. So I wonder what is the significance here? Because it's not just now the LIGO observatories here in the United States, it's also overseas. Right. Uh, we have two detectors in the United States, Washington State and Louisiana. Mm -hmm. But with two detectors, you cannot triangulate where, where the message comes from. With three such detectors, one in Italy near Florence, you can now triangulate the same way that the GPS system does not hmm. Three satellites in outer space allows you to locate your position to within about a foot or so. Mm -hmm. So now we have three fully functional uh, LIGO detectors, and yes, all three of them got that uh, black hole 1.8 uh, billion light years from Earth. So explain how these work, because we're not talking about actually seeing something or hearing something from outer space. That's right. The wave of gravity comes from a distant uh, place in the universe, hits one of the detectors, which is shaped like an L, uh, two laser beams like this, and it jiggles it. When it jiggles it, it causes an interference pattern, which immediately is picked up, and then you know that a disturbance of gravity hit that detector. But that's only one detector. Now we have three, right. and we can now begin to triangulate it, meaning that a gravity telescope may be possible. Now, light telescopes allow you to see planets. Radio telescopes allow you to see galaxies out there. A gravity telescope opens up the possibility of getting baby pictures of the Big Bang, wow. of getting uh, inside the black hole itself to see what happens to all these stars that fall in. It could open up a whole new realm of astronomy, gravity telescopes. I just, I, it's so amazing to think about that possibility, but we were showing some pictures of the LIGO Observatory, I think the one in Washington State. Explain how vast these are. I mean, there was enormous thought and care and attention put into where these devices should be because they are enormous. That's right, and they're very delicate. If someone sneezes a mile away, you can pick it up with these laser detectors. In fact, it's so accurate, it can even pick up the tides. It can pick up the tides hundreds of miles away. That's why they're very expensive, costing billions of dollars, very sensitive, so sensitive you can detect these gravity wave detectors. And we think that this could open up a new domain of astronomy. Each time a new telescope came online, it revolutionized our understanding of the universe. And you were talking about this a moment ago. So this is a quote, new phase of astronomy called multi-messenger astronomy. So just explain, break that down for us. You, you touched on it a moment ago, but now the thought of a gravitational telescope is something that I think is sort of mind-blowing for a lot of folks. That's right. It's multi in the sense we have not just one, not two, right. but three. Three gigantic laser detectors that can triangulate the location in outer space. So when the gravity wave hits you, one detector registers it first, mm -hmm. then the second and the third. Knowing exactly when the three impacts took place, you could then triangulate the location, and that's where they found this colliding black hole 1.8 billion light years from the planet Earth. And they can point their other telescopes and other devices in that specific spot because they know. That's right. So a new kind of telescopes is being introduced because we now have mastered the technology of building these gigantic LIGO detectors, and it means that just like Galileo uh, turning the telescope to the heavens opened up what we call modern astronomy. Now modern cosmology is going to be opened up because we're going to get 
right into the center of a black hole and perhaps have baby pictures of the creation of the universe itself. Wow, truly mind-blowing. Professor Michio Kaku, thanks so much. My pleasure.